What's up, YouTube? I decided I'm going to make this video in a three-part series. Um, first part being the head, the platen, whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty sure they call it platen, but I am not an expert on these kind of grinders. This will be my first one, and from what I've been told, actually, one of my dad's friends makes knives. He told my dad, once I have this grinder, I will never want to know. And not just for knives. Uh, first part is going to be building that. Second part, building the frame. Third part, mushing it all together. And I can actually show you the machine running and how it works. Uh, I went against my motto and actually did buy a few parts just because of the quality of the cut and what I can get for the price. It was a no brainer. Um, I will leave a link in the description where I bought this and my wheels. It's a four inch drive wheel, three inch tracking wheel, then my two, two inch wheels for the front of the grinder. I kind of want to do this in a three part series. That way I can actually show you what I'm thinking on why I'm doing each step and why I'm using what I am using. If I try to make all this in one video, it's going to be so long. Anybody gets sick of watching it. But, you know, I want to show you why I'm using 3x3 for my platen. I think that's what it's called. And so on and so forth. Stick around. Let's get after it. This is a 3x3x316 three by three by three angle. Make it into, uh, I'm pretty sure it's called the platen. Not positive, but it's the backing plate for the backing plate. Let's get that part done and we'll get into it a little more. plate cut out, cleaned it up with the grinder, then hit it with a sander on the side that the back of the sinker were actually right on. Just give it a little smoother surface to rub against. Got our holes drilled to match our actual backing plate. Just will actually go like this. I'll 
show you why I used 3x3. Three three. Vacuum blade I bought from Oregon Blade Maker, I believe. Um, I'll put a link in the description, like I said. Also, ordered my wheels from them. When you buy the backing plate from them, it comes pre drilled, pre tapped, and all the holes are there, and comes with bolts, bearing spacers, everything. Put these on real quick, and we'll get into the possible platen. Spacer here, spacer in between the two. Using lock nuts here, just kind of a redundant, keep it tight. The grinder will sit as you're facing it like this with the belt going across here. So I want a backing plate that flatten. Here's why I use a 3x3. Three three. So I guess, I don't know if you, you could use something smaller, I guess. That. You know, have your belt to where it's got a little platen on this side, a little platen on this side. I want to be able to have my belt lay over this side. So, I'm gonna do it like this. Or if I want to grind flat against it, I can grind flat against it here. I have a little bit of belt coming off this edge. Well, if I want to soft grind something like a Maybe the curve for whatever it is on a, a knife. You can get it on there. That being said, which I need to get some more quarter inch washers. comes with the organ blade maker backing plate. It will bolt in here. Weld on to my piece of square tubing that will come out through here. And that will give me my adjustment through this piece. So, you know, I'm not a fan of buying parts. Love this. Super simple. Well worth the money. And no, they're not paying me to say that. I originally thought I was going to make this a three part video. Might make it a four. That's my finished head, I'm gonna call it. The rest of it I'll show you in the frame video because it actually will be part of the frame. And then there's gonna be, you know, I said video two will be the frame, video three will be squishing it all together and making an actual machine. I might make a fourth one. Just all the, the little parts that you just don't really think of, but I didn't think of in advance. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.